Hello and welcome to part three of the humble overhand knot. So by now we know very well, don't we, how to tie an overhand knot. Make a loop, come up from behind, there's our overhand knot. But what happens when we tie it to something? Well, let's have a look at that. Let's make our overhand knot around this carabiner. Overhand knot. And then we just pull a little bit on the standing part and you'll see it tends to collapse into something like that. And when you tie uh, a knot to something else, it essentially becomes a hitch. It's one of those uh, knotting terminologies that you'll get used to. And this is a single hitch, or actually it's more commonly known, rather confusingly, as a half hitch. There's our half hitch. I heard this uh, wonderful quote recently from a uh, master rigger called Brian Toss. And uh, he says that every knot is an exercise in friction. Extreme simplicity can uh, only be had at the expense of effectiveness. Well, that's a great way of thinking of it. So here's a very, very simple hitch, but it's not very effective. It slips quite easily. And this way of thinking about friction is a really good thing um, to consider when you're tying knots. Let's see how we can increase the friction on this. So we could put an extra loop there. That's going to increase the friction on the ring itself. This here of going around another time, see it goes almost twice around. This is called a round turn. And we can increase the friction again by putting in a half hitch. Now immediately we can see something interesting happening here. When you tie this you realise that straight away there's a lot more security in that knot. It's because we've increased the friction here on the ring itself. There's friction around the standing part and this is the key bit. You see the way that this working end is now trapped against this second turn creating friction here and the tighter I pull the tighter that actually becomes. So this is a much more secure hit straight away because we've increased the friction. What we can do, of course, now is put in a second half hitch working in the same direction. And this is now a well-known and loved knot, a round turn and two half hitches. That's what it looks like. It's a very, very useful knot used the world over for tying a rope to pretty much anything. I just want to show you a variation on this. You'll remember before we did a um, quick release stopper knot like this with the overhand knot. And we can do the same thing here. Let's say you were working single-handed on a narrow boat or something. It might be useful to tie loosely to a mooring ring and instead of taking the working end all the way through on that half hitch, you leave a tail end like this. Under tension, it's reasonably secure and quickly released. It might be a useful knot in some circumstances. I want to introduce you to another concept now, and this is when we're learning knots, is uh, to be consistent in the way we do it. So what I do when I tie a round turn and two half hitches is I usually work to the left of the standing part. There's my round turn and there's my two half hitches. You can do this the other way around to the other side of course if you prefer to do it if it feels more comfortable to you or left-handed or something so let's work to the left to the right rather there's our round turn to the right of the standing part and we have to do the same thing again over and under and over and under. In effect, what I've done is reversed what I was doing on the other side. This is important because if I were to tie the half hitch this way, something happens. You'll see the knot collapses. And this working end is now not sitting against the second loop. It's got space and so it can pull through. It's nowhere near a secure knot. So we have to be consistent about it. And the way I think about it is this. If I'm working from the top, I go over and under and over and under. And I continue that way. Over the standing part and under. 
over the standing part and under round turn two half hitches again working the other side over and under to the right this time over and under and over the standing part and under over the standing part and under round turn two half hitches tied on the other side now if for some reason and there might well be a reason you want to come underneath the ring you have to reverse that so we're going under and over under and over and the same again under the standing part and over under the standing part and over Have a look at that again on the other side. Coming from below, under and over and under and over, under and over, under and over. Round turn, two half inches.